Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday, coming at you with 2020 Gold Rush Autograph Baseball uh, eight box random letter number three. So we're going by the first letter of his first name. So Hank Aaron goes to H, Shohei Otani goes to O, Ichiro goes to I, so on and so forth. It's only a 15 spot break. A lot of great names to chase right here. So, big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. There are the letters right there. Some letters comboed up. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a four, nine times for each list. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Oliver Soria down to Jason K after nine. Five and a four, nine times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And ninth and final time. After nine, we got D, V, Z combo down to L. Remember, these are first letters of their first names. So, Oliver, you get D, V, and Z. Edwin with J, Jeremy with R, Anthony with B, Nancy with W, uh, Big Boys 7 with Koi, K O Y. Nancy with S, Bradley with E, E and H, Corey with M, uh, Richard with G, Jarrell with A F, Robert with T, Andrew with P, Joe with C, and Jason with L. Let's sort by column B. What, Joe? You don't you don't like you don't like letter C? A lot of Christophers out there. Chris, Charlies, Chippers, Carltons, Coopers. I don't know if there's any big Cooper. <laughs> Coopers. Man, so many. All right, there. All right, I'm gonna pause the video, allow people to kind of digest what letters they have. Usually the first knee-jerk reaction is to freak out and think their letter is the worst, but it's probably not that bad. I'll be right back. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. I think we kind of discussed what, what people could potentially get. I think people are feeling a little bit better about their letters, at least the potentials of what they can get with those letters. All right, so let's pop this baby open. And uh, we'll play America's Favorite Game, Who Am I, as per usual in breaks like this. We've got eight of these, so we're, we'll go a little bit, uh, we'll go a little bit more quickly. Yeah, if they're not all letters are represented on this, on, on our list right here, that list. So if there's a letter that pops that isn't on, that no one has, then we'll randomize that to one person in the group. If for whatever reason there are multiple letters that aren't on the list that pop, then we'll, uh, then the name on top will get the first one, the second name will get the second one, so on and so forth. All right, who am I? This guy has had a pretty illustrious career. He is also no longer with us. Passed away in 2014 at the age of 83. He had a lifetime 235 batting average, 91 home runs, 352 runs batted in. Played with the Brooklyn slash LA Dodgers. Played with the Cubs, played with the Mets, played with the Reds. Played with the Los Angeles Dodgers again in 1963, Senators, and then the Flyers right there. But 83 and 2014, so that would not be that would not be Al Kaline. And uh, Hank Aaron is still with us, Robert Ives. Now here's here's where he uh, here's where he excelled. He was a manager. 
managerial record 885 wins to 858 losses for a slightly over a 50% winning percentage. Managed the Padres for a couple years in the early 70s. Managed the Red Sox between 76 and 80. Managed the Rangers for a couple seasons. And this is where I remember him the most. He managed the Cubs between 1988 and 1991. What? No, not Ron Santo. Ron Santo never coached. Actually, I don't know if Ron Santo ever coached. But it's not Ron Santo. And then was like an assistant, assistant coach for uh, the Expos, Padres, Red Sox, Yankees, Cubs before he was the head coach. Yankees, Giants, Red Sox, 92. There you go. Wow, no one, no one guessed Don Zimmer. It's Don Zimmer. Then the Rockies as an assistant coach. Yankees again as assistant coach between 96 and 03. Devil Rays between 04 and 14. He was a 10-year coach for the Devil Rays. That's a long time. Two-time All-Star, six-time World Series champion, the NL Match of the Year. His number 66 for the Rays is, uh, is retired, and he's part of the Red Sox Hall of Fame. So you get all the PSA DNA stickers right there. Letter D goes to Oliver. There's the PSA card in there, too. That'll go to you, Ollie. Nice. Oh, no post notes, of course. Everyone steals my post it notes. It never, uh, never have post it notes here. All right, so that goes to Oliver here in random letter break number three. Would it be too much to have scotch tape here? No, of course I don't have. Oh, I do. Wow. Shocker. I'm surprised I have markers here, ladies and gentlemen. Sharpies? All right. <laughs> no, this is not a guessing break. This is a, uh, a letter break. Oliver still guessed it, even though he guessed it wrong. Come on, Oliver. I'm surprised no one guessed Don Zimmer. He's been around baseball for a long time. All right. Who am I? I'm still alive. I'm 74 years old, a right-handed pitcher, uh, and a Hall of Famer. First ballot Hall of Famer with 92.6% of the vote. Six-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, three-time AL Cy Young, four-time Gold Glover, three-time AL wins leader, two-time AL ERA leader, pitched a no-hitter, my number's retired, I'm part of this team's Hall of Fame in addition to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Played for one team my entire career. Ended with a 268 win to 152 loss record. Wait, what? What was that, Bossman? If, if nobody's going to say I'm going to say, say Jim Palmer. There, boom! Jim Palmer. There you go. This was back when the Orioles were good at baseball. They won the World Series in 66, 70, and 83 with Jim Palmer. So there, there's the JSA card in here. Edwin has a letter J. What's that? Jaspies are 2-0. There's JSA right there. Nice one, Edwin. Yeah, he's, he's pretty, got the Hall of Fame inscription in there too. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. 2,212 strikeouts as well. Yeah, he had awesome numbers. So that'll go to Edwin. All this written down here. Uh, Nick or the boss man might have a have a decent eye for that, Danny. All right, next one. Are kind of hard. 
start to pop open. All right. Okay. Who am I? I'm still with us. I'm 69 years old. Nice. Born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. A right-hander, right-handed pitcher. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's my my win loss? 124 wins, 107 losses, an ERA of 301, 1500 strikeouts, a little over 1500, 1502, 310 saves. Played with a lot of teams: White Sox, Pirates, Yankees, Padres, Cubs for a season, Giants and Yankees again. Uh, went to Japan for a season, came back to the States, Rangers, A's, Mariners, a nine-time All-Star, World Series champ, AL Rollades Relief Man Award, three-time AL Saves Leader, and a ninth ballot Hall of Famer. Inducted in 2008 with 85.8% .8 of the vote. Tyler K has got it. It's the Goose, Goose Gossage. There you go. There's the JSA card in there. Richard F. with G. He's got a nice auto. There's the sticker right there as well. These are these are nice uh, nice ball cubes as well. Jeremy and Joe P. guessed Lee Smith. Is he is Lee Smith in the Hall of Fame? I feel like he should be, but he's not. Oh, he is. Oh, in 2019, so very recently. That's That's got to be Players Committee, right? Yes. The Today's Game Committee, whatever it's called. All right. Here's another old school pitcher coming up. He's also 69 years old. He was born in Zeist, Netherlands. I did not know that. He's a right-hander. Born in Zeist, Netherlands, but raised in Garden Grove, California. He's a righty. He has 3,701 strikeouts, 331 lifetime ERA, won 287 games. Uh, a Hall of Famer on the 14th ballot snuck in with 79.7% .7 of the vote. Played for the Twins, Rangers, Pirates, Indians, Twins again, and the California Angels. Two-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, AL strikeout leader, pitched no-hitter in the late 70s. I think Tyler and Dave has got it. Yep, Bert Blylevin. There he is. Born in Zeiss, Netherlands. Did Nick say Kenley Jansen? Yeah, I think he was. He was born in Curaçao, which I think is part of the Netherlands. So I'm right. I mean, he's Dutch. Born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both. They're both the same. They're countrymen. I'm being facetious. They're team photo of the Cleveland Indians with Bert Blylevin, and he's turning this way, Joe. Uh huh. And wow, he's mooning the camera. And it's a team photo issue. Wow, what a prankster, Bert Blylevin. He was a prankster. He was a prankster. B. Anthony with Bert. Over. There you go, Anthony. There you got the leaf sticker, leaf card along with it as your authentications. All right, halfway through this eight box break, boys and girls. Jason K is asking, what's Goose's real name? That I do not know. I've switched away from that Wikipedia screen. Does anyone know offhand? I think, there, what's the, isn't there another Goose? There's Goose, Goose, and then another. Goose Gossage? And Goose, who's the other Goose? And only two. I think there's only two gooses in baseball, right? Uh, 
right. Who am I? America's favorite game. Who am I? I am an active hitter. A shortstop. A right-handed shortstop. My lifetime average is 296 up to the 20th, according to Wikipedia, of this month. Lifetime 73 home runs, 248 runs batted in, and 168 home runs. Played for one team my entire career, a World Series champion, NL stolen base leader, and twice I hit for the cycle, once in 2017 and once in 2019. Guys, guys don't steal bases like this guy anymore, so he's a little bit of a little old school, but still could hit a dinger every once in a while. Who am I? Went to Park Vista Community High School in Lake Worth, Florida. Did I go to college? I don't know if I went to college. I don't, I don't think I did. No, I did. I went to NC State. Uh, no, not, not Lindor, not Andrelton Simmons, not Sean Dunstan. <laughs> Sean Dunstan's not a shortstop, and he's no longer active, right? Not Baez, not Story. There you go. Tyler's got it. It's Trey Turner. He was originally drafted by the Padres. There's the Beckett sticker right there. There's Trey Turner's efficient autograph right here. It's a speedy autograph. There's the Beckett sticker, and that goes to Prim and the letter T. Yeah, that's what it says, yeah. Opted, he was drafted by the Pirates, but then opted to attend NC State. And then drafted by the Padres officially after college, and then, uh, and then somehow got traded to the Padres. I'm not sure how that happened, but... Random letter number three. Turner was the player to be named later as part of a three-team deal in which the Padres sent Jake Bowers, Birch Smith, Rene Rivera to the Rays, and Joe Ross to Washington. Washington then traded Steven Souza and Tra Travis Ott to Tampa Bay. Tampa traded Will Myers to San Diego. There you go. can't wrap my head around three team deals. All right, three baseballs to go. Good luck. Another chance to guess of the player in here for bragging rights. And if you win, you can tell your friends. You can be like, oh my God, I won Who Am I at Jaspies. I'm so cool. What did you win today? And they'll be like, nothing. And be like, that's right. All right, who am I? I have no idea where that came from, to be honest. I thought it was a mixer. Who am I? I'm currently 60 years old. Not six years old. 60 years old. Played for one team my entire career. Uh, lifetime 276. Hit 3,184 hits. 431 home runs. 1,695 RBIs. 19th time All-Star. How'd you guys get that so quickly? What gave that away? 19 time All-Star. World Series champion, Rookie of the Year, Gold Glover, Hall of Famer, blah, 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 blah. Maybe the hits gave it away. There's the JSA card in here, and there you go, Joe P. With the Cal Ripken Jr. Nice, and Joe is complaining about the letter C. That's what he does. Our, our, our grumbler. But nice hit, Joe. There you go. See? Glad you got in. Rewarded this time. Nice Cal Ripken Jr. Random letter number three. Wait. According to Joe P. Rules... No, he guessed it. All right. All right. He got lucky. He guessed it right. All 
All right, next one. I'm another Hall of Fame shortstop. A little bit younger than Cal. I'm 56 years old. Born in Cincinnati, Ohio. Played for one team my entire career. 12-time All-Star, a World Series champion, an NL MVP, a three-time Gold Glover, nine-time Silver Slugger, a Roberto Clemente Award winner, third ballot Hall of Famer with 86.4% of the vote. Uh, batted 295, hit 2,340 hits, 198 home runs, 960 runs batted in, 379 stolen bases. Yep, Danny and Dave's got it. Barry Larkin. No, he never played shortstop, Rex. I didn't know he was born in Cincinnati and then played for his hometown team his entire career. That, that I did not know. There's Barry Larkin right there for Anthony. Yeah, went to high school in Cincinnati, got a football scholarship in Michigan, to Michigan, but decided to play baseball exclusively. There you go. And then was drafted by the Reds, yeah. There you go. I almost wrote Barry Larkin here. That's not, we don't want to send that to Barry Larkin. I mean, he can just autograph a baseball by himself and just get it. He went to the same high school as Ken Griffey Jr. Jay Cohen saying. Not together though, did they? That, um, that would be a wild team. All right, and the last baseball, good luck. No, Larkin was a little bit earlier, okay. I was like, man, if they crossed over, I mean. All right, last baseball, last guess. Who am I? Um, I'm assuming it's, yeah, okay, yeah, this is it. Who am I? I'm currently 52 years old, a switch hitter, through right, I'm a pitcher. My win-loss record was uh, 135 wins, 88 losses. A lifetime 367 earned run average, 1,427 strikeouts. Played for the Dodgers for 10 seasons, then the Red Sox for a couple years, and then closed my career with the Pirates in 2001. Was a one-time All-Star in 1990 and pitched no-hitter in 1995. I think... Uh, I think people, people for the people with the Dodgers have fond memories of him. He also has a brother, that's a little more, uh, a little more famous. When I was a starter with the Dodgers, I repeatedly asserted that my brother was an even better pitcher than he was. Nevertheless, the Dodgers management thought he, his little brother, was too small to be successful and traded him away. That's one of the dark moments in, uh, in Dodger history. Then my brother, yeah, Oliver's got it, Jay Cohen's got it. I think Tyler got it a little bit earlier too. Then my brother went on to win three Cy Young Awards with the Expos and the Red Sox and then was a first ballot Hall of Famer. It's Ramon Martinez for the Dodgers. That goes to Jeremy Port and the letter uh, R. Oh, there's the Beckett card right here. There you go, inscribing his no-hitter right there. There he is. He was pretty, Ramon was pretty solid in his own right. There's the Beckett sticker right there. And there you go, that goes to Jeremy Port. And there you have it, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for playing along with me. I will see you next time for the next break, jazbeescasebreaks.com.